SOLIDWORKS 2014 improves the methods that we use to mate assemblies together and adds new capabilities to complete the job faster. Let's take a look. In SOLIDWORKS 2013, when I used the alt drag method of smart mating, the component to be mated tried to mate itself into any potential reference that it crossed, such as this bracket jumping into every hole. This behavior was annoying, so in SOLIDWORKS 2014, a new option has been added to control the smart mate sensitivity. I'll set it to slow so you can see how it works. Now, when I alt-drag the bracket over the holes, it doesn't try to mate itself into every hole it crosses. Only when I pause will it attempt to smart mate to the hole. Another method of smart mating has been around for years, but it was not readily accessible. It was inside of the move command. With this method, you double-click a reference, then click the corresponding reference, and SOLIDWORKS presents the mate toolbar. You also notice that now there's an option to lock rotation when adding concentric mates, which can be beneficial when assembling screws. One of the benefits of the smart mate method is that you can rotate the model while selecting mate references, which cannot be done with the alt drag method. This method of smart mating is no longer hidden. It now has its own button that can be customized to a toolbar or to your shortcut bar. We need to add another mate to control the rotation of the bracket. For this, we use the standard mating technique. Notice that now, when I add a mate between these two edges, SOLIDWORKS now defaults to a parallel mate, as opposed to a coincident mate with a warning that it would overdefine the assembly. Also notice that now the property manager now has a push pin to be consistent with other property managers. The check mark dismisses the property manager if the pin is not pushed. When mating an axis to a cylinder, the mate type is now automatically defaulted to a cylindrical as opposed to a coincident mate as in 2013. Much more logical. As if that wasn't a fast enough way to mate components together, SOLIDWORKS 2014 introduces quick mates. No command needs to be executed, just make your selections and a quick mate toolbar appears and you select your mate. Three picks and you're done. This is fast and kind of fun. Let's keep going. And to fully define these nuts, the new lock rotation capability is just a right click away on any mate selection. It's never been easier to put your assemblies together than with SOLIDWORKS 2014.